Welcome, this is the love reading for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising sign. My excuses, let me get on with this. Now, I hope you guys are doing well and let's see what is going to be coming out for you Capricorns in the month of May for the love reading. Um, the month reading is already hot. Please use the on demand and check out also the love reading and the monthly readings to see how is it going to affect you and um, what effect it has. Okay, so leave your comment about these love readings and let me know what's going on. Okay, some of you Capricorns are definitely going to be meeting soulmate in this month of May. Okay, so this is wonderful. Um, and um, this is going to be the center of your month. A lot of people are meeting soulmates in this month. And for you guys, it's a wonderful month. So... Um, soulmates are coming up so a lot of you could be meeting new people and these are soulmates coming in from a past lifetime so we're calling in the angels of love all the universal angels and guides of love mother Mary um, to bring down the night fifth dimension love and Venus the planet of Venus and um, all oh, the angels of love to come in to show us the energy vibration for the Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. So, in the first week, you Capricorns have dating. So, a lot of you Capricorns are going to be dating new people, um, meeting new people, going out on the town, that sort of a thing. And it's destined to happen. This is really destined to happen. So, some of you might have been off the dating scene for quite some time, and now. Um, you're coming back and this is going to be good now some of you could be traveling and this is going to be good because you're going to meet in someone either during the travel or on the way or um, returning or um, through the time of your travel you're definitely going to be meeting someone now this person could be a soulmate that you're going to be connecting with and they, they can be coming up okay so you have past love coming in so some of you are definitely going to be traveling to see a past love this is someone you have known in lifetime and lifetime and you have reconnected with them and you're going to be seeing there's some control issues that is going on whatever these situation is these control issues are definitely coming up and some of you are dealing with a lawyer some of you could be a lawyer and this is why you're having control issues in a relationship you need to understand um, when to separate uh, your work from um, your relationship now some of you could be meeting a lawyer or someone in authority and they really um, find you a beautiful person um, this is very good it could be people in authority um, that you're connecting with so it's um, the police the lawyers the doctor um, the surgeons these sort of a people that some of you could be connecting with now long-distance relationship is definitely coming up that some of you could be having long-distance relationship in the third week and there is a block um, in this relationship however the block comes up we're going to be looking seeing why there is some of you are dealing with um or you could be this blonde female and whoever this blonde female is is that she's blocked okay so you could be in a relationship with a blonde female this person it could be living overseas and whoever she is um she is um definitely blocked um and we're going to be looking at that money um, seems to be um, a situation um, with the soulmates and um, that brings control issue this is past life a lot of you are going to be meeting as you're on the dating scene you're definitely going to be meeting um, people from past life and you're directly going to be knowing this because you're going to be feeling it oh am okay you capies twin flames so oh and it's a lot some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame obviously this is going to be happening for you guys so this is extremely extremely wonderful so um definitely some of you could be meeting someone who is in law enforcement and that sort of a thing 
and um, these people and it's not really law enforcement it could be that this person is a lawyer or a doctor or this person is a judge you know that sort of an energy that is coming up a lawyer a doctor a judge a surgeon um, a policeman someone an investigator um, and I'm seeing like investigator and they're really like seeing the true beauty of who you are um whatever situation that was going on for um the blonde the blondes and there was a block um short term this block is 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 not going to last long okay it's definitely um short term okay so if you or a blonde person and you were in a long-distance relationship and some blocks comes up whoever you're in this relationship with is a twin flame or a soulmate okay and this block is going to be lifted up a lot of you are going to be um, connected with people from past life past love is coming back and it's going to be very very powerful okay past love is coming back and it's going to be very very powerful now the energy of the dating queens are here let's see what's coming out for the energy of the dating queen so some of you are going to be dating um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this person is 45 years and older now destiny is here and whenever the energy of destiny comes up is that some of you are in a relationship that was destined to happen some of you are um, going to be meeting your soulmate and this was destined to happen it's as if your spirit guides are orchestrating this connection so that you um, can be connected with this person and this is a very very wonderful some of you could be um, are being um, also um, protected um, from or protected this person some of you who are dealing with a Pisces cancer or Scorpio if even you're not connecting with this person this person is from a past life they're protecting you um, without you even knowing there's definitely some conflicts that is going to be coming up with some of you with a Pisces cancer or a Scorpio and it could be someone that you have been dating um, this person is coming from a past lifetime and is your soulmate but there is a lot of control issues coming from either you or that person okay so there is where the conflicts comes up then as we look at the energy of destiny let's see what is coming up for destiny in a relationship some of you were destined to have a situation or to connect with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this lady is you were destined to have this relationship as a past life soulmate um soulmate soulmate not twin flame soulmate and you were destined to have this connection with this person because this person is coming from a past lifetime okay so we're having um it's a past lifetime and it's a past love for you it's a past lifetime and it's a past love for you so this person is definitely coming up this person could be coming via that some of you are seeing this woman either husband or yeah um, a husband and um, whoever uh, this woman is it's as if you both have had this uh, um, love warfare because um, he was he could have been with you in a past lifetime and then he comes back and he's with her and it's as if she knows that you two were meant to be okay so she's a little bit worried about this situation definitely because you're going to be receiving news from this person whoever this person is you're definitely going to be receiving news from this person and as if as if this person wants to um, it's as if she wants you to know that hey I know you were seeing my partner or whoever and this is coming up for some of you that maybe your partner was married to this person and now they're divorced and now as if she's sending a message well yeah now you can have him and you're thinking girl or lady you need some help bye <laughs> you know that sort of a thing so here again your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true so whoever these people are and um whoever this lady is definitely if you 
have a relationship with this lady this lady is going to reach out to you um, and you're gonna be happy because the nine of cups energy is here whoever this person is she's definitely going to be reaching out to you so if you're a man and you were in a relationship with this lady she's definitely going to be reaching out to you and she's definitely going to let you know um, how much she loves you and care about you now look at let's look at travel what is going to happen because what I'm seeing for travel is that some of you are going to be meeting someone in a plane that sit near right beside you or some of you are going to be meeting someone in the airport your eyes meet and somehow and you were on the same plane and then you got off and then um, the person is gonna offer you a lift wherever you're going and it's just gonna spark up from that basically yes <laughs> it's gonna spark up from that and it's gonna be beautiful so go for it definitely definitely um, go for it then you have um, the energy of the magician okay so um, you're gonna be finding out that this person has already a family and is married so that is going to be like oh a pity oh my god why does all the good men have to be taken or why does all the good women have to be taken okay that is the the sense that you're going to be having um, when this person but he, uh, the person is gonna be honest with you now whatever sadness you have had in the past because of conflicts your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true and the sadness is going to be over and this is just so wonderful and so powerful because in the first week what is transpiring what is happening is that news is definitely going to be coming through and there was a conflict about baby and you know some of you could have had or was in a relationship and this person wanted you to have a child and you're that's not what you want and it's as if this person tried to push this situation on you and you're going to decide no it's my life it's my body I know what I want and um, I, I'm at this stage of my life is this what I really want in my life and I don't see you as someone who is going to be um, you know staying around to see this through so I'm not going to be making um, a decision like that so whatever the situation is is that there is definitely some sadness but for some of you there is just your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out you're spiritually protected from an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whoever this person is their reign is over and the sadness that you have encounter and the conflicts is now over because it's as if someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion definitely is going to be helping you out of this some of you could be dating a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and you're going to be finding out that he did not say that he was married or you're going to be finding out that he is married and he also has another family okay let's look at past love what is coming up past love um, you have the energy of justice coming up um, on a past love that you have been dealing with this could be someone um, overseas or someone um, who lives a distance away from you whoever this person is is as if um, this person has done you some injustice and now karma is balancing out where the same thing that he has done to you someone else is doing this to him or her definitely um some of you um true love past past love and past life issues are going to be connecting you're definitely going to be meeting people um past love and past life um, as some of you could be doing this in the dream time some of this it could be that you're meeting this person and you're having dates with this person and it's as if um, the universe is balancing out the karma between you and this person it could be um, your ex-husband your ex-wife or ex-boyfriend or ex um, person who you had a relationship and a child with control issues some of you are definitely working on your control issues whatever the situation is you're definitely you know trying to work on your control issues however they come up you're definitely especially people who are in twin flame and soul soulmate relationship you are working on your control issues and 
you're basically trying to bring balance in your life okay and this is good because uh, some of you are releasing this energy of uh, um, not trusting okay you're releasing the energy of not trusting and you're just opening up and just letting people do what they need to do and this is good because what is transpiring is that you're realizing you can't control everyone and everything around you you just need to go with the flow definitely some of you are dealing with an Aquarius Gemini or Libra and this person could be very controlling in the relationship and um, this is an issue and a past issue that is coming up and you are going to be learning to either to decide whether or not you go forward in this relationship or how you're going to be dealing with this issue because you find it to be a very stressful issue and it puts stress on the relationship now some of you are definitely definitely is going to be meeting someone in authority this could be um really someone powerful and in authority and um whatever the situation is with this person is as if a conflict in your life is over and this person is going to be reaching out to you because and this is why the energy of uh, like an investigator um came up where he has been investigating you and then he has learned things about you that he was like wow and he really wants to connect with you but he has no idea how you are going to be uh you know how you will and how you will basically you know will you be open for it now the most crazy thing and <laughs> the most crazy thing is that whoever this investigator is or this judge is or this lawyer is or whoever in that legal um capacity they are your soulmate <laughs> oh my god yeah they are your soulmate they are your twin flame and, and for some they are your soulmate or twin flame okay and it's as if however you guys have designed this cycle of your life is that they're coming back and they choose to be the one and they realize oh am hey okay um for some of you someone was profiling you for a very long time and uh, yeah definitely um this person is going to be trying to connect with you this person is definitely going to be putting him or herself out there to uh, make sure that you whatever way you get to connect with this person because they want it's as if they said oh my god this is the love of my life it's as if i've connected with this person at such a deep level and they're going to be putting themselves out there in whatever way to try and connect with you their life oh my god you know what if she knows and i think they're going to tell you directly hey look you know i met you blah 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 or I met you a couple months ago and it was because I was doing an investigation on you and you're gonna say oh okay so how did it go cuz I've gone through such a horrible time and they're just gonna be open up to you and you're gonna be open up to you to them and you know it's as if their money was on the bet on you because they they have gone through like everything every um, point in your life every situations okay and uh, they realize oh my god I've never ever you know analyze someone like this this person really has some really good qualities that I think the normal person look at this person doesn't even know okay and I know it's a love reading but it is whenever someone is going to connect with you from that way and not from lust of the flesh and lust of the flesh is when someone see you and just immediately want to have sex with you that is not gonna last okay it doesn't really last 
Ooh. So, true love is going to be coming in. So as we look at the second week, really nice, wonderful things is going to be happening. I think some of you who have gone through some soulmate relationship, it wasn't good. It's going to be balancing out. I think you two could be returning either a past love returning in your life or a past definitely a past love is going to be returning in your life to balance out a situation it's as if they realize I had no idea what I did and they're going to be returning in your life and saying hey I'm sorry and you know forgiveness is the key and sometimes people say you know just leave me the hell alone but it's as if Forgiveness is the key. It's up to you whether or not how did this person hurt you and how do you do you want to end this karma between this person and yourself or do you want to go forward with this person? And that is what is just definitely going to be coming up with a past life love. True gem. Let's look at true gem. A lot of you are going to be working on your control issues because you're going to be realizing that that is what is ruining your relationship. Some of you who um, relationships, your relationships is not um, lasting long. It's because there's some control issues that you need to really work on. And then um for the twin flame and soulmate definitely you're going to be working and balancing out that okay the true gem what is coming up for the capricorn sun moon and rising sign for the true gem um the true gem some of you could have uh, um been with someone that you know something was magical and mystical and all of a sudden it becomes a burden to you you know it's as if uh, uh really okay what is it now you know that sort of a thing it, it begins super super good and then all of a sudden you realize that this person you know need to balance out themselves <laughs> you're gonna be receiving a message from this person and it's as if you're like oh my god all right just let this go please you know what 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 is it what do you want to say and it's as if this person wants to come back and uh, some of you definitely this person wants to make up with you this person is uh, there is someone that some of you have met. The relationship started wonderful. Remember last month, go back and listen to the love reading last month because last month there was some of you who were meeting and having these, these passionate relationship and but they're all short. One of them is going to be coming back and you're going to be receiving message in the third week from this person asking to reconcile he wants he or she wants to reconcile the relationship okay they want a new start to this relationship but um the new start that they want is as if they they realize that they really messed up and they want to reconcile with you so again I never tell uh, you know again you have to follow and listen to your own intuition and then you'll be okay with this one long distance relationship what is happening with the long distance relationship I am seeing some of you longing to go on a journey to meet someone so you could be traveling from San Francisco to California England to New York Canada um, to New York um connecticut to maybe georgia georgia to connecticut but all of these places are vice versa i am seeing people wants to travel to florida or but whatever the thing is is traveling i'm seeing a lot of travel like people are wants to go on a long distance travel to connect with um someone who they really care about now i'm seeing you're going to be receiving the help and uh, um if it was a financial situation that was blocking you um you know i'm seeing that 
on you know unexpectedly uh, just out of the blue something is gonna happen like someone said hey I have some um, points do you want to go see the person or hey um, you know um, I you know you get a thing that you have to travel to that place for business and it, it's just come it's just perfect because you have been so longing to see this person it's as if you miss this person so much and you're longing to see this person and you're gonna go on that journey indefinitely definitely see um, you're gonna be realizing something when you go on that journey and what you're gonna realize is that this person is being very very um, trustworthy because you're gonna realize all oh, I've always thought that you know maybe there was something else and something else was going on and then you're gonna realize that hey this person wants the same thing that I want you know that sort of a thing but um, circumstances stands between you both in this relationship but it is going to be res re resolved okay so it's as if the, the and, and it is a twin flame and some of you um, you know you could be traveling to another city to see this twin flame or this twin flame is definitely traveling to another city to see you it's as if they're longing to see you you are longing to see them you're always thinking about them they are always thinking about you what is it with this blocks so there is a block some of you were dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius whoever this person is there is n they are now blocked for good okay so it's as if you um you had to put a restraining order against them and um you did it because it's as if this person would not let go whatever the situation is it's as if this person would not let go and you you decide hey i'm just definitely going to take a restraining order oh yeah it's an aries an aries so some of you had a relationship with the years, maybe in one night stand, whatever the situation was, and then he just started to become a nuisance. And now what is going to be transpiring is that you're finally, finally going to get rid of him because it's as if the universe have blocked him. Yeah, um, your spirit guides have blocked him because uh, he serves no purpose in your life. And um, it was not the right connection so the universe has definitely definitely blocked this person and it is good so really it's um wonderful messages that is coming out for you guys now you blonde females you blonde females and it could be happening to anyone it's just that they come out there is going to be um, um some um news you know whoever um, they are dealing with the Pisces cancer or scorpion and uh, you could be um, um, letting go of this relationship so you blonde females could be dealing with um, uh, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or someone who is with, with someone who is in a lot of relationships okay whoever this person is they they're in a lot of relationships they're seeing this person that person this person that person that person it's as if every cat they see they pop on it okay so this casting over situation is going to be finally over and you're going to be oh my god I'm so glad I'm out of this relationship it's as if you found out that this guy was a player and you just cut this person out and said hey just let it go okay we need to end this and you're definitely um, because some of you are in a relationship with this person and every time he's home he's tired and you're like what the hell you know because he's tired because he's having sex he all over the place so um, by the time he gets back at you uh, he's up for the day or up for whatever time and you're like hey let it go I gotta go money so whatever worries you had about um, your relationship your marriage and your financial status this is going to be over it's gonna be definitely over okay so it's all about the family and 
um, trying to support your family and protecting your family and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be actually realizing you know um, yeah it's um, things are looking better because we're more financial stable and financial stability comes up for the Capricorn also in the general reading so go check out the general reading the month reading the month of May readings this is the love reading because you're going to be financial stable okay and that is going to be helping both you and your relationship of your family or whatever but you're, you are financial stable and this is going to be helping now definitely some of you are going to be dating and um, you're going to be meeting um, someone uh, you know the deceptive um, card has been coming out and someone you're going to be realigning with a, a soulmate from a past life and uh, very deceptive very very deceptive so be aware of this okay so um, um, you could be um, meeting someone from out of a company or as I said some people who were going on a trip could have met this person but it's a very deceptive person it's as if um, you had a business lunch um, in a group and then this person wants uh, to connect with you out of the group and that sort of a thing but it's, it's um, you have to find inner strength to deal with this person because it's, it's not very healthy it's not very healthy for the people who are married, this is going to be a very good month. If you are in a relationship with a twin flame soulmate and is married, it's going to be excellent. Some of you could be finding out that you are pregnant, or some of you could be finding out that you are um, miscarriage. Okay, but some could be good news. Some could be that you're miscarriage. But um, for the twin flame and the soulmates who are in relationship. I'm seeing a balance coming in and this is just going to be wonderful and powerful for you guys I love you readings I love your your love readings you Capricorn please share this let me know what's happening for you how does this affect your relationship and leave a message and I want to say namaste and I'm wishing you all the best in love love is the only thing that is real namaste